hello students today we are going to draw an isometric projection for this component see this component is having length equal to 80 mm 80 mm which is ha and having height of 15 plus 35 that is 50 mm and the width of this compound is also having 50 mm in this compound i located o here you can locate in this compound o uh, here also because this compound is symmetric component that's why you can locate the o here also or here also now firstly we prepare a block of 80 by 50 by 50 mm size as you seen here the length is taken towards right side of o so we are going to mark the length 80 mm on the right side of o then width on this axis and height on this axis like this we prepare first the block for this component after drawing this block we firstly identify this component in which tentatively we have to identify what is this compound is now if you observe the top view of this plate in this top view it is a rectangle it means this is one simple a rectangular plate as a base plate then here there is slot is there which is having dotted line in the top view shows it here then the top view for this block if you observe say this is the top view and the sizes for this is square of 30 m size and inside there is square of 20 m size from these two view we identify this portion is a square prism which is having height equal to 35 mm so before firstly in this while drawing this component firstly we prepare the base plate which is having size equal to 15 mm as a height 50 mm as a width and 80 mm as its length so we plot 15 mm here 15 mm on this side and 15 mm here also then we'll join this then join here now through this point draw parallel line to this line then through this point draw parallel to this line so like this we prepare this base plate first complete base plate first then we'll trying we're going to draw this prism after this see this prism if you observe in this prism it is started from the top of this object it means it is starting from this point so firstly we locate the center for this prism so for this observe is top view here there is a top view for this prism it is located at center of the length and center of the width and it is the highest point of this object and it is having size of external square that is 30 mm and internal that is 20 mm so firstly locate the center for the width as well as the center for the length so this is center line for the width size similarly look at the center for length also so like this we locate the center for this square now see eh, the size of the square is outside size of the square is 30 mm so you mark 15 mm on this side 15 mm on this side similarly 15 mm on both side of this center on these two axis so i plot 15 mm here 15 mm on this side similarly 15 mm on this side also here then draw parallel to the center line 
parallel to this center line through these points so first one line then similarly on this side also then through these points draw parallel to this center line I directly draw this in thick line because I get the last two lines here then make these two lines are so thick okay then draw is having the height of 35 mm so firstly I draw this in thin line because here there is a taper is there that's why firstly draw this by in thin line 35 mm 1 2 3 35 mm on this side through every corner join its base okay so this is the square prism now we'll draw this taper plate see the taper plate starts from the top of this prism to the top of this base plate it means it's starting from this top of this prism to the top of the plate but where it is located at the starting of the prism or at the middle or the, the end of this prism so for this we refer the top view of this plate so this plate is located here it means it is along the center line of the width it means it is located here at the center so for this we we'll locate center for this also then we'll join this by using center line right then the similarly for this side also look at the center here then join this by using center line okay now the width of this plate is 10 mm so I plot 5 mm on both side of this center line 5 mm on this side 5 mm on this side also similarly if required plot it on this side to avoid the parallelity problem then join this I can directly confirm here confirm these two lines then this is a plate so it must have this base so for this draw parallel line to this up to here and then from this point to this point then see here there is a there is no need to draw line on this side that's why I just draw line on this side so plot 5m on this side there is no need to draw on other side then put it here and just draw the visible part only so that's why I draw this taper up to here only and then I complete the base for this plate also so complete this then complete this block the visible part must be in thick line base also this is a prism now we are going to draw the inner square hole which is having size of 20 mm so we repeat the same process that we done for the external square so 10 mm on this side 10 mm on this side similarly for this center line also on both side 10 mm then parallel to this line then parallel to this through this points which you mark at 10 mm distance 
from the center so like this we'll get the square hole then it should appear as a hole that's why I yeah, will draw one line through this corner then the hole is vertical that's why we draw through this corner a vertical line like this now it appears as a square hole then lastly we will draw the, this base is a slot provided at the base now assume that this depth of this slot is 5 mm so we take depth of this slot equal to 5 mm now as depth of the 5 mm and it is taken from 10 mm from both side so and it is on the length side so we plot 10 mm from this side similarly 10 mm on this side then 5 mm as a depth so parallel to this 5 mm as a depth similarly parallel to this then join this okay then complete this plate make this thick this one also yes then this one like this confirm this plate first and lastly it should appear as a slot that's why the slot is in this direction that's why we'll draw parallel to this line through this corner and like this we can complete this component for this to orthographic view thank you students if you like this video click on like button subscribe to my channel so that you will get the new updates about my channel thank you